explain the difference between a program and a workout. One of the things we're known at Results Fitness for is for saying that we write programs, not just workouts. And what's the difference? A program is a plan based upon a specific goal that we want to achieve. A workout is just can be a one-off event. And if you look at just a, what a workout is, it is not much without having the whole big picture scope uh, of what you're trying to achieve. So it can get you, you know, hot and sweaty, and that's great, but it needs to be part of a bigger purpose for what you're trying to achieve. So some coaches don't even like to call them workouts. They like to call them training sessions because that implies that you have a purpose. So that's part of really what the difference is. And when we plan stuff, we want it to be at least an eight to 12 week plan going forward. Then we work backwards from there. And a workout or a training session is a component of a program without a doubt, but it's not the whole thing. That's a small piece of it. And we work backwards and then execute going forwards with our uh, training sessions. And they're, they're a lot uh, easier to think about when you think of them in the context of the whole big picture. So it's kind of a big 10,000 foot view of everything, what a program is. Sure. Okay, for new trainers, uh, what's the best way to help a client determine their goal or their primary goal? It's hard to nail people down on what their goal is because you get a lot of general stuff from people. I want to lose some fat. I want to gain some muscle. You've got to really ask a lot of open-ended questions and dig deep to find out, number one, some specifics, how much of that win. So it's time-based, and there's some measurable things that we can look at. You also need to find out their why behind those things. So why do you want to lose fat? So we can attach some emotion to it, and that gets a whole lot more buy-in from them. So you've just got to dig into that and achieve and create some of those SMART goals that we call them. We talk about that a lot in the book, how to really set those things. And people can have multiple goals, but they can only have one priority. So you have to dig deep and find out what the most important thing is. Okay, and uh, how does having a, program, a programming system help you deliver better results for a client? The big thing is systems are replicatable. So it, Alan uses the analogy often that if you go to McDonald's in town where we live, you can get a Big Mac. Not that you should be getting a Big Mac. But you can also go to China and get the same Big Mac. And the reason for that is because they run a system. They can replicate the process. So we're trying to achieve a specific outcome. We've got to have a process for achieving that outcome. doesn't mean it can't adapt and change, but we have this intended outcome that we're trying to achieve, and we know the steps to get there. So the system is basically our standard operating procedure or our process for doing that. James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits, has a great line that I really like. Is if, you're getting, if you want to change your results, you don't change your goal, you change your systems. And that's the key thing. So everything that we do at our gym is based around a systems-based approach. 